for coming. Another round of applause. So before we proceed, we have a couple more speakers to bring up here. I want to make it very clear that there are people here that want to get a rise out of you. They want to push back against Americans that are here standing against anti-Semitism. Do not engage with them. Stay focused on why we're here today. So next up is uh, a stranger to no one, especially if you like football. You've probably heard of Sid Rosenberg before, yes? Uh, so, the next speaker, Sid Rosenberg, is the co-host of the Bernie and Sid in the Morning Show at 77 WABC. He also hosts Sid Sports Sunday, a weekly sports talk program where it gives listeners his unique take on local New York teams. What you probably don't know about Sid is that earlier this year, he served as one of the Grand Marshals for the Celebrate Israel Parade. Sid, thank you. So without further ado, Sid Rosenberg. New York, how are we this morning? How are we doing, New York? My people. How are you? We are fighting back. Let me tell you, this is a, um, how important it is for me to be here on a Sunday. I just hosted a two-hour sports talk show for Madison Square Garden. And I spend nine hours every Sunday in front of my television watching the Jets and the Giants, and I don't move unless my son needs something. But when I saw Dove hiking at an event on Thursday night, and he mentioned this to me, I couldn't wait to come. We were at an event on Thursday night. It's actually a very nice event. A friend of mine started something called the Exodus Movement. And what that is, is she's trying to convince Jewish people, my own relatives, who continue to vote Democrat, despite the fact despite the fact that obviously the Democrats are riddled with anti-Semitism, and worse than the folks that practice that, right? As you just heard, the Ola, the Omars, and the Ola. When she asked Deneen, where's Chuck Schumer? To me, it's worse. Chuck Schumer, we like to call him Silent Max Rose. Where is he today? Where is Elliot Engel today? See, the Jews that stand idly by, those people aggravate me more than the Omars of the world. We know what they are. We know they're garbage, but the Jews that stand idly by really piss me off. So the movement is called the Exodus Movement, and we need to get Democrats like my own family. My brother-in-law, his parents, <laughs> it chokes me up, but they, they both, they got separated during the Holocaust. And they found each other on Allerton Avenue in the Bronx 10 years later, and they married. My brother-in-law Harry's brother Isaac was murdered by the Germans. Harry's alive today, and he's a brilliant, wonderful guy, lives up in New City. He votes Democrat every time, every time he votes Democrat. Every time. I go, Harry, what do you, what do you have to see? What do you have to see? Well, Donald Trump's no good, he's a liar. He's a liar. Okay. He's a politician. All I know is this, Donald Trump's got a daughter who converted to Judaism. Donald Trump has a son-in-law who is more observant than I am. Donald Trump has been to shul on the high holy days. Donald Trump recognized the Golan Heights as part of Israel. Donald Trump moved the embassy to Jerusalem. And Donald Trump doesn't take shit from the Palestinians. I just saw you on TV, but Ritter's going to kill me for that. <laughs> anyway, when I was given the opportunity to come here, I couldn't wait to come. And listen, I'm, I'm not the most observant Jew, guys. I'll be honest. I'm not dove hiking by any stretch. I'm a reformed kid from Brooklyn, New York. I was bar mitzvah in a temple that was so reformed that, to be honest, the rabbi had blackjack tables after Shabbos downstairs. I'm being honest. He got arrested for it. I'm not kidding you. But I went to yeshiva my whole life. I went to yeshiva for elementary school. I went to yeshiva for high school. My two children went to the JCC, and there was Yiddishkeit in my home. And I'm a very, very proud Jew. And I will tell you this. It takes all of my guts not to walk out in the middle of the crowd and beat the living daylights out of these folks, these Antifa folks, with their masks on these cowards, covering their faces. I'm looking at one right now. But he's right, you can't do that. That's not the way to do it. That's not, and I can do it, believe me, I bench press 300 pounds, I will kick your ass. We need our government officials to help us, right? You know, Andrew Cuomo did something half-ass this week, but we need Bill de Blasio and these folks to really come to our aid, to our defense. We need their help. I'm sick and tired of seeing 
Jewish men just walking in the streets get run over. Sick and tired of seeing swastikas painted on our religious homes. We are one week away from Rosh Hashanah. One week away. Mothers with strollers. Thank you, you're exactly right. Just for being Jewish. That's it. And the truth is, and I've got a friend with me here today who's not Jewish, but he's a decent person. Whether it's jealousy, fine, <laughs> we are pretty good people. Whether it's hate, it doesn't matter. I think it's fine to say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. What happened to Never Again? Which, by the way, AOC stole. Man. Never Again. So I'm not going to take up a lot of your time today. I just want you to know that uh, Jews of, of every single uh, phase, right? Whether we're talking about reformed or conservatives or orthodox or, or Hasidim, I can tell you that we are talking about this on a daily basis, that my friends and family are devastated over what's going on. Devastated that I have to read in the paper that we have to increase the police force next week at shuls all over New York because we want to celebrate the new year. This is, this is New York City. This, is New this isn't La Crosse, Wisconsin. This isn't Clarksville, Tennessee. This is New York City. And the reason why this has happened, folks, is a couple of fold. Yes, it is the politicians. Surely it's Bill de Blasio. But we as a people, we are to blame. I say this all the time. Jews have become very, very complacent. Jews continue to vote Democrat. Jews are their own worst enemies. So I urge you, I compel you, if you are friendly or a family member of a Jew who has not come to the realization that the Democrats are out to hurt us and nobody wants to help us, make them realize that really is the case. Jews fight back, that's right. So with that said, I want to wish everybody here a Chag Sameha. Alashana Tova, a happy and a healthy new year to everybody here, Jewish, Gentile, I don't care. Make this the best year of our lives, and all you folks out there, make sure you continue to promote the message you are today. You being here today is a lot more important than you even realize. I love you for that. I really do. Thank you very much. Have a great day.